Cookie Puss. You want to go to Home Depot? You want to go to Home Depot? Home Depot? I want to go to Home Depot. Homeless Depot. Homeless Depot. Sounds like fun. All right, how long is this going to last before she jumps out? Probably she's not friggin' running all over. Ooh. All right, so what do we get at Home Depot? Got some more Reflectix. Home Depot doesn't have Reflectix. They got this Everbuilt stuff. It says insulation. It's not really insulation. I'm going to redo... I'm going to wrap the rest of the fridge... I was on the sun's like coming in the doors here, like outside. It gets really heated up, so it's only ten bucks, whatever. Some aluminum tape, Velcro for these um, the side window things. They always fall down. Gorilla tape. I'm always using this stuff for something it's like this and um, JB Quick Weld. It's good to keep in your van. Ordered some hooks for the projector, screen thingy, and then this is all I really needed there. Or bolts and washers. I'm gonna make a rack for the mini bike again. So I got a couple other things today. I got my second second little radio for traveling. So I wish I had this before, like you meet up with somebody and you're not in cell service. And these things work great. I already got one sitting up there somewhere, yeah, right in the right in the center console. So I got a second one. I'm going to play walkie talkies. And right here, this just came in. I've wanted one of these and it was on a fire sale. Let me open it up. One of those lightning deal deals. I haven't even seen it yet, so. And it wasn't very expensive, it was really it was really cheap, so it's probably you get what you pay for. Freaking light bar. Look at this thing. It's like a three foot LED light bar. This should be pretty decent. It doesn't seem that bad. It's got, um, the camera's pointing down here. I guess flood and then projectors. This thing's pretty decent. I don't know if I'm going to put it on the roof or put it on the hood. Pretty freaking neat. Okay, I'm going to start building this, um, what am I going to do first? I guess I'll build the rack first and then because I gotta paint it and everything. And go from there. Anyway. Alright, I have the fridge. I used to stuff this Reflectix on the top here. Because you could feel the cool coming out of here. It's already like worn off, but whatever. So I'm gonna insulate. I'm gonna take this and go all the way around. I can already cut a piece. Fit right there. Cut another one. That's the longer you can keep this thing from cycling, the easier it is on your batteries. Rather than put more fucking solar, more batteries in there. So, let's see how it works. So, all right, I put the two squares in here and I cut some of this reflectix out. Just tape it over top. Now, I know heat rises, but. Yeah, you really could feel a lot of cold coming out of here before on the top. So I'm going to wrap the whole damn thing. Yeah, it still shuts. I part lost. It makes it a little bit thicker. So I lost a little overhead room, but who cares? I'm just going to keep taking beer and water in here anyway. Yep. Alright, got it all wrapped up. It's looking like the freaking Lunar Lander. I ran out of that tape though. That shiny silver stuff. But uh, use some of that gorilla tape. And it doesn't matter, it's all hidden away. It's not like it's pretty anyway. Let's see what that does. Got the little ventilation all cut out. The 
front, my handle, yeah, it's pretty well wrapped. I wrapped all the way up to the, you can cut out the handle. We'll see how she does. Keep you posted. Pretty sweet. All right, I just, just plugged it back in. This thing's been sitting out for like an hour. And I had done the, uh, just the top. It was at 32, it's at 37. I'm gonna speak too soon, but that might have made a made a pretty big difference. I think the proof's gonna be in my battery life. It looks fucking crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna secure these wires and build my bike rack. Clean this friggin' shit up.